Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I document my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent. If that is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing if you have not done so. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so very much for coming back. Your support is really appreciated. If you have watched my previous video, I shared how my husband and I will be combining incomes. And not only are we combining our money, we're also combining our debts. And so I wanted to get a total of how much debt I have been able to pay before we combine, combine our debts and you know my debt balance increases. So what I will be doing, the last time I did this was in May. I will pop that video over here. And in that video, I had paid off uh, $11,321. If you have been following my journey, you know that I recently paid off Charlie, but Charlie was not included in my debt total, but I will include him in my debt payoff. So we will not delay this. All right, YouTube. These is my regular debt tracker so to speak or my debt total tracker or whatever you want to call it this is the one i completed in may and this is the one i'm going to be completing today just as a reference i went ahead and started filling this out to speed this video along 401k loan was sitting at 8702 it is now at 8503 and roughly uh, on 197 195 dollars goes towards this loan um and about 150 goes towards the principal um the next debt is my investment property mortgage and that was at 6809 it is now at 68788 and a payment is due at the end of this month um my wells fargo home mortgage is down to 105 even and Fed loan is still sitting at 143. It's actually at 354. So we will total those up. Probably not gonna be much of a difference. So 8503. Move back, Charlie. 68788 plus 105 Hold up. plus 143.54 that gives me a total of 322.645 that is my total complete debt so a couple of things, um, I started this year at $335,276. At the beginning of this year, the $335,276 did not include the total for Charlie, nor did it include my iPad. So, um, I'm going to go to March, which is when I did the follow-up update. And I'm going to include the A8403. So, that would have brought me to 336.160. I don't know how much Charlie was at the beginning of this year. If you watch my other videos, I don't know how they configure the interest or whatever. But, um... So that is where I was, and I'm going to subtract where I am now, 322,645, which gives me a grand total of paid is 13,5. 1503 and then I'm going to add what I had to pay to 2108 
that's to get Charlie paid off. And I'm not going to add what I was paying over the months starting in January, or should I? Because I paid them off in June, so it was January, February, March, April, May, June. But I didn't pay all the June, so it was May plus another payment. So, I'm going to add that up. 15, 6, 23, 03. And then, so I was paying 68 times 2 times January, February, March, April, May times 5 plus the 68 I paid on the 15th of June. So that's 748. Oh, I didn't line that up right, but. So 748 plus 15623 03 equals. So for a grand total of 163103. So this is how much debt I have paid since the beginning of this year. And just taking this total, taking this total and subtracting this amount, I paid 323,955 minus 13,515. No, 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 no. Minus 322,645. It's a total of $1,310, but once we include the $2,108 for Charlie, I paid it. I, that's a difference of $3,418 just within a month's time. And I honestly cannot tell you how that happened, but I'm glad it did. So, by myself, I have I was able to eliminate $16,371.03. So I'm anxious to see what we will be able to eliminate by the end of this year once we combine our income. So Charlie, Charlie, come on Charlie. Charlie is making his debut, but he's frustrated because he can't actually jump in the chair. But that is it for <laughs> Um, my video, that is exactly how much I was able to pay in these six months. It, ex I actually exceeded my goal and I'm excited about that. And I'm anxious to see exactly where I will be at the end of this year. If you have watched thus far, thank you so very much for watching. Please do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about my progress. It should be the, it's important that I track my progress because I want to be able to, after this year, come up with a kind of a debt-free date because I don't really have one at this moment. So thanks so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Say bye, Charlie.